they're making it further than what we thought they were going to make. So, you know, Cinderella story. Um, what was that? What's the college's sister? Loyola? Loyola, yep. Yeah, I mean, that's, they did, like, obviously Loyola wasn't expected to make it as far as they did, but they made it into the tournament. So, yeah, sh I mean. Sh shout out to Loyola. I switched and picked Miami in the last, like, 15 minutes before the bracket submissions. <laughs> they betrayed me. They decided to go on a run, too. Ah, brackets, brackets. All right, guys, Ooh. welcome back. Uh, we are on map number two. It is on train. We have UC San Diego on the CT side, SUNY Binghamton, a.k.a. Jack's Money Crew, leading the pack 1-0 here, and they're looking to go down drop here over into A, but it's uh, kind of a curious position to go into. Very delayed uh, entry right there, but so far so good right now, picking a lot of people off. Royal, though, how is your headshot game? His is great. His is better than anything you've ever placed on. <laughs> this is better than anything you've ever seen. But Sherbrooke, can he do this 1v3 with 50 poor HP and armor? Are they, are they telling him to ace? School not letting, not wanting to let that happen, but he's done the damage. Royal should just be able to tickle Schubert now. Are we going to see a great start for UCSD? Royal. Oh, oh. no, he goes down. <laughs> oh, I had hopes. I had hopes for one second. All of a sudden, life... Uh... I felt life, but yeah, great, great job getting in there. With Can that we get an F in chat for his ace? That was close. It was close, yeah. It was, that was a good 2v1 peak, though. You definitely need to be able to do that. Yeah. That's, I like the heaven play. It's it's tough, I feel like, on T side, though. Like, if you don't have, like, a Deagle or a CZ, like, playing with a yep. Glock, like, the, either you hit that headshot or you're trying to put in, like, seven bullets into them to try to yep. take them down. So, I mean, props to him for getting it down to a 1v1 at the end of the day. But, yeah, good round. UC San Diego finally gets a, a positive start for their side as well. Let's see what they're going to be able to do. Maybe over here on B side is reach a candy spot phalanx. He does. He does. <laughs> he definitely does. Packs can... out. Yeah, as soon as he spotted that, he's like, I'm not getting rushed today. Schubert looking for something with the Deagle. I'm going to try to open things up. This is more of the phase style eco that we see where it kind of split across the map. These Deagles obviously can be very effective. Schubert holding the angle. will be smoked off, and he's going to fly the coup. But Aware's actually made his way out into the A site undetected, and he's going to cause a little bit of problems here for UCSD. Artinio finding the first kill. So some damage done already. School taking down Artinio, and the second potentially... This is going to be Phalanx going down Hero in the meantime, shutting down the Ivy player, and a clean anti-eco from Triton. No bomb plant, so Jack, Jack's money crew are going to have to go for another full save. The Glocks, see what they're able to do. Probably not that much. Um, yeah, a good start here from UCSD. They need to bounce back. I'm interested to see, like, if this goes three maps, you know, Inferno... UCSD is, is a shutdown team on that map, but we've also seen Jack's Money Crew do things to teams like Ryerson that, mm -hmm. you know, it could it could it could really go either way. I'm excited. Reach it. Time time for your shining moment. <laughs> Him and Culligan through the fire and flames. Uh, very nice job defending that initial push into our team all by himself. Only remaining player trapped in the corner. Upper B right here, and he's just trying to survive it through all these bullets. He could maybe get one kill. No, he can't. It would be the best hope at that point, but uh, nice defense. Nice, yep. Very, very solid play. We see Richa, how he's getting up close to that ramp. I mean, that's going to be a theme. If he's going to keep being able to do that and get away with the information, they're going to have a better time rotating a fourth player into the A site for that late round A execute where they, you know, people or teams will rather pinch out down ladder, out T-Con, and the, they'll have the smokes ready. It helps to have the extra body there. And if you have a player like Richa, I mean, he's getting a little aggressive here Very on the aggressive. first gun round. Oh my gosh, they almost meet up in the smoke there. What we see, Phalanx has already made his way all the oh, way up into upper B. Royal gets a little trigger happy, gave away his position and drop right there, reacting to some of the shots. Blooper, everybody from the SUNY Binghamton side repositioning themselves a little bit of a slower default right now, coming out of everybody. Interesting stack though, uh, school getting on top of train, we have Royal in a very pushed up position over here on A side, kind of uh, blocked off a little bit from drop, going to be looking for anybody entering over here from uh, kind of the spawn side. This is, a, I, I, I really actually like this position right here from uh, Royal, he's going to be able to kind of catch almost everybody that comes on out, really sneaky, you don't typically expect a player there I don't think. Well, well, apparently no, they no, do no, on Jack's money crew. <laughs> Never mind. Artinio finding trades with Hero, Culliken. We're up on top of Green Train. Is going to find one. Hero 
Click on the trade. It's not going to be enough, though. I don't think 15 HP. No kit to work with. Phalanx and Schubert holding the angles. Heroes spotted out. Taken down. Jack's Money Crew escape with the first gun round here on their T side. That's a big round win for them. And attack timeout being called on the side of Jack's Money Crew. They're going to talk about what just happened, potentially. I think that this is this is a good call. They, you have them to work with, right? You have three attack timeouts to work with. It's different, obviously, in like sports like like hockey where you, you get one timeout. I mean, I, I was going to say like other sports, but I never thought about basketball. They got like 12 timeouts or something. I don't know. And then football, it seems like they always have a timeout, even though like in the late, late games in football, they take way too long because of timeouts. Well, I think this is good that they're taking the timeout. We didn't really yeah. see any timeouts on the first map. This is what, um, yeah, this is what I'm saying. You have them to work with, right? You might as well, if you want to talk about something, you need extra time to decide what you're going to do in this next round. You have three to work with per half, I believe. That's actually thinking about, yeah, that's actually interesting that UC San Diego didn't use a single one over on their first map. Outside of, obviously, the pause where they're just like, oh, yeah, are the casters <laughs> ready? We just kind of went after the server yeah. switch. That's why, hey, at least the thought that counts. It's the thought that counts. All right. Uh, oh reach a, call, or a reach a schooled down all the remaining defense over here on a side we do have hero trying to come through the back to get defense versus ready for b but already big entry coming out from Sydney Bigminton they've taken over the site and the bomb is going to go down planted oh 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 where doesn't notice royal up top it's a three seen the muse now. heaven a couple times now actually that's a Big play, Artenio with the AWP. He's naded down here, oh, pushing for the frag, looking to find it. It's gonna find it, but Looper through the smoke, doing a ton of damage, and he's gonna connect it with one HP left. A huge kill for him to find now. As we see, the pressure is on. Culkin running out of time. He's pinched in. Jack's money crew win an important gun round on the back of a great play there from Blooper from upper through the smoke, but more importantly, that's Phalanx once again. Coming through with huge, huge kills. Tons of impact from this player. The economic damage is strong, but two gun rounds to start off the T half for Jack's Money Crew. We see why they picked this map. Yeah, no no doubt about it. I mean, they seem very comfortable. Obviously, now that they've got the guns on them, they can really play to their full potential. Looks like Oness will split up here over on the SUNY side for default. We do once again have Reacher over on B side, but he's deciding to back on up. I mean, he might have heard a few too many noises and uh, footsteps coming over here, but aware all by himself about to meet the wrath. Maybe not of everybody that was trying to come over towards A side on the defensive side, but here we go. Culkin on the low side gets dropped, and now really it's all up to Reacher. I mean, wow, this is a very quick clear out from uh, SUNY. Jeez. Yeah, the counter calls are really good here too. You can tell that they were kind of expecting uh, a stack potentially. So if they were going to go towards the outer side against the pistols, the smart play, Richa. Oh, Richa, just barely surviving a duel yeah. of low HP, and that nade should spell the end of his life. Boom, there he goes. I, I could see Boom, what he goes the dynamite. Yeah, he saw the op. He would have gone for it and tried to maybe run away and save as quickly as he could have. But yeah, yeah, he where, took too where, much where, damage. Where do, you, where do you enjoy playing on this map? Do you enjoy the CT side or T side more on train? I mean, like on obviously CT side is is more lucrative. I T side can be like like I said, it can be like running your head into a brick wall sometimes with the way other teams play. I'm excited <laughs> to see how Aware plays on the CT side. Like keep your eye on him and how he can potentially tear your team apart. Not only with what he's doing mechanically, but like how he's making players play against him and what he's doing in that sense can be very damaging. And Blooper once again getting aggressive out of ladder for a second round in a row. Royal doing a lot of damage to reply, but not finding a kill. Schooled going up into heaven, gonna take <laughs> down Blooper. Artinio's nade though, he's done a lot of damage in Phalanx on the flank. Taking down Richa, oh my goodness, things are falling apart for UCSD. Schooled all by himself, we're gonna find one. He's being pinched in. He's going to escape his position onto the bomb train. Artenio knows he needs to get the bomb, bring it over to the B site. And in the meantime, it's going to be Phalanx going down, actually. Schooled, doing work now with the op. A hectic round coming into a 1v1 now. Artenio, 13 HP, going to try to make his way in towards the B site. Schooled is going to be ready and primed for it. He's got the op. He's holding. Oh, he's actually holding spawn. Just going to check it, and the timing not going to work out in the counter terrorist's favor this time around. Artinio should get a free bomb plant, and then we'll see what happens. I wonder if the communication is there that he's lit. 
I would imagine at least they know he's got a little bit of a shot on him, but yeah, school definitely on the complete opposite side of where he needs to be at this point in time. He does have the opportunity that they might meet each other sooner than he even expects. Arteni positioned to catch him as he comes on out over here. Oh, this is going to be... Oh, he spotted him. He spotted him. Now both players are really lit up. 35 versus 13. He schooled, decides to aggressively beat him yeah. the wrong way. And, uh, wow, Arteni gets the plant, saves the round. I thought that was UC San Diego's completely I thought wrong. for a second schooled was going to be able to bring that back with the way that he was playing that round. Mm -hmm. um, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a fine line with those rounds. Like, does he keep the op? I don't think the communication was there. I don't think he knew how low Artenio actually was. Uh, so he was just considering, you know, I might have to fight a distance angle. He is the offer on the side, so confident with that weapon, I'm sure. But you got to kind of question it. If he goes back and watches this after, is he going to wonder whether he played that correctly? <laughs> Look how close they are through smoke. <laughs> I feel like Felix and Reach have been doing this like almost the entire game right now on train. Just creepily passing each other by in the smoke without any engagement, but look at where. I think he knows somebody's on top of the train. Does spot school, but school gets out at the right time with the pistol while the nade is getting thrown out. Entry over towards A side. There is school, though, still sitting there. Going to be able to try to stall them up in any way he possibly can. We do have Sherber here. Is he going to notice? He does notice a uh, player in Ivy, and there goes Hero. Meanwhile, Artini on top of the train takes out uh, everything he possibly can in reach of the remaining player in a 3v1. Quick work, Phalanx headshot. Another round for Suni. 6-3. This is kind of getting a little concerning. <laughs> this is very concerning. We got a lot of rounds to play. But yeah. I mean, if they win this, I can't... Uh, Being with the looks... It's they, they, look composed. they look composed. If, because if they win this, we go into the next game, and we got to call them underdogs again. And it's like, it's going to feel like, as I said, it kind of sucks to be in this position for us, because it's going to feel like we've never given them any credit. Yeah going into we're, any we're matches, gonna, we're gonna coming out of them, and once they get started, I mean... We're not gonna, we're gonna continue not giving them credit. <laughs> maybe, maybe that's the drive they need, they need haters, you know? That's their fuel, they need haters to be able to perform really well. As soon as haters we start accepting them, them, as soon as we start expect, accepting them as favorites, that's when uh, the downfall is gonna start. But uh, Royal here, sitting in an important spot right here, uh, between Pop Dog and... Let's see if he's able to hold off uh, all these players. Nice move from Artini though, look at that! Gets down on the ladder, does a little bit of a jiggle jump off of it to uh, make it very hard to hit him as he strafes down. But here comes the full entry over towards the side. Aware misses the shot. He gets caught. Oh, oh my god. That's the shot you choose to hit in this round? Like, obviously, it's too little too late for Triton Gaming. They should be trying to save their guns. I think they really got to consider that at this point. The half is kind of getting out of hand. You mentioned they didn't really use any timeouts in the last half, and they probably should consider one in this situation. T side is going very well for Sonny Binghamton, looking to punch their ticket to land. I mean, considering the scoreline so far, considering what we saw last game, the, the 2 0 potential right now. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, solid start. I mean, obviously, as mentioned, still lots of rounds remaining. We'll be able to swap sides, so we'll see. We'll see how the defense of uh, Zuni Binghamton will be able to hold up against the offense of UC San Diego on train. And there we go. There as you mentioned, yeah. there's the pause that we've been looking for. Yeah, I think they have to. They have to. It's a dot timeout. Okay, there you go. Um, All right, this is a good yeah. moment, I think, uh, while they are getting their timeout to remind everybody. This is actually a really big week for a lot of teams as the CSGO. The Dota 2 and the JV1 teams are going to be heading to the finals for everybody that reaches the top four. Today we've got CSGO. Tomorrow we've got Dota 2. Wednesday we're back to the final two uh, series of CSGO. And then Thursday we have two more Dota 2 games. And then somewhere on the weekend we're going to have the JV1 League of Legends games as well as participating. So great opportunity for you guys to follow the channel. Keep up with all the action that's been going on. Obviously consistent with the schedule. 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Pacific. Come on back here, uh, cheer on all the teams. On the Dota 2 side, for anybody that is curious, we talked about the CSGO games earlier. We do have uh, UBC versus McMaster and Cornell versus RIT tomorrow. The 7 o'clock one's going to be incredible. And then Maryland versus Stony Brook and UC Davis versus Marietta on Thursday. So keep an eye out on all the games. Uh, great time to support all your teams, regardless of game or regardless of your club. Uh, because these are big matches for all of these schools that are hoping to reach the finals. But we're back in game. That was a quick timeout. 
That was seriously. Yeah, they're just 30 seconds. I mean, that attack timeout is only 30 seconds. It, it's limited. If you go to attack timeout, then or like a dot problem, then it takes a lot longer. But not going to take very long for school to make the saved op work. And I think that's going to cue in Sonny Binghamton that yeah, maybe we don't want to go towards that op. We see Reach is going to be the B site player. Aware. He's got some health too as well. It looks like Skulls is yeah. rotating over to as well, right in time. Reach are looking up top. Culkin will take the long route. Oh no, never mind. Skulls now looking up top. And he, uh, here comes the entry over to B side. Ooh. Aware finding the first. He's naded up. Reach takes him down, but he's going to be taken down by Phalanx getting aggressive. Traded out again quickly. The bomb is down. This is a must win for Triton Gaming at this point. They're invested. They can't afford to lose this. And Blooper looking for a parry finds oh. both players in ramp. And Culligan now all by his lonesome trying to get towards the bomb. Hops on it. Takes down Blooper. Looking for Artinio. He's playing it so smart. And Culligan goes wide. Artinio ready for it in Jack's money crew. Oh my goodness, they're up on seven rounds. I mean, they do actually have enough money. That was a half buy behind those guns. So UCSD, the situation not quite as dire as I made it out to be last round. But obviously, this is seven in a row for Jack's Money Crew. Now, as soon as the guns got into their hands, they have not been denied a round victory. And you got to stop the bleeding at some point if you're UCSD. Uh, you, you're setting yourself up to have a mountain to climb on your T side. As I said in the, in the previous playoff games, if you let your opponent get up in towards those double-digit rounds, you set yourself up to have to have an amazing second half. And like I said, pressure can do a lot in Counter-Strike. Indeed it can. I was looking at, as well as speaking of pressure, Kulikin like, and Hero almost pushed out of Ivy completely. And interesting enough, the bomb has been left back all the way at home. So they're looking to at least set up, find some information and pick odds before they actually commit to anything right now at the moment. But yeah, they got to be careful not to, you know, engage too hard and then completely forget about the bomb. Um, or they're going to have to keep a lot of players back, it seems like. But here we go. Artini boosting a tiny bit, trying to see if they can spot anybody through the smoke on some of the trains. Not going to be able to do so. But Yeah, they have actually gotten killed like that. So I can understand why they'd go to it. Oh my gosh, he's getting walled up and, and having this time reach. Uh, he spotted out quickly. Royal only going to be good for one. Traded out quickly by Aware. He's moving towards Sandwich now. Two teammates joining him. And that nade off the bomb train. Going to take down Richa. Aware ready for Hero and Ivy. And now schooled once again. We'll have to try to clutch a nice flick to start things off. But still a tall, tall task. And they forgot the bomb. Yep. <laughs> As I said, <laughs> they just left it back there and nobody grabbed it. Yeah, where's like go get that damn thing oh look at the timing of this is schooled runs all the way no he's not gonna run it though he's gonna try to go down ladder here he, he could actually catch this timing that smoke is it gonna fade in time i think he'll be fine but oh my god he's gonna catch him right there. Oh, oh no, no. <laughs> not like this he's out of time aware can't even plant the bomb that's it schooled played this exactly how he needed to whether he knew it or not Played it perfectly. That might be the first. Nice on this, that might be yeah. the first undisciplined round we've seen from SUNY uh, this whole entire. I jinxed series. it, calling it seven in a row. I think I jinxed it. Yep. I gave him the caster's curse. You're pretty. You're pretty good at that caster curse thing, man. Like the predictions. The oh <laughs> my. The predictions. This, this, this were is how you. Fair. Know, this is how you know you're made for uh, casting. When you have that curse game going on. That we had three people on the quad, and other than like three or four matches, we agreed on most of it. Including a lot of the ones I got wrong, like Ryerson. I, I, I plead the fifth. I plead the fifth. <laughs> I plead the fifth on all my predictions. Um, but here we go. Royal pushing up really aggressive over through A side. And didn't notice that Aware's already on the other side of him. Um, wow. And Aware gets that off shot. Definitely Royal is like, what the hell? Somehow he already got behind him. But there we go. Gets the payback right there. Takes down Aware. They are slowly still considering the opening over towards A side, but now I think there are way too many cross fire positions for them to tackle on. And the bomb wants the to get bomb way behind. The bomb again. Yep. Schubert's going to have to make noise just getting it. Royal's in such a good spot that he can hear this. He at least heard Schubert drop there, so he knows that there's one in that position. I know that They know that Blooper is, is prone to just fly out ladder and find a frag a lot of these times. A nade from Richa, that's meant to do some damage to players setting up smokes, and that would have been a good time to throw it, but Next Money Crew not quite in position to get those smokes down yet, and they're just going to keep playing this contact towards 
the B site a hugely, hugely important round for Triton Gaming. It's down to school. Oh, almost had the collapse set up right there for himself, but it's down to Hero and Royal to see what they could defend. Both going to be coming from the same angle, and that's going to be very dangerous as Artini is creeping through the smoke right there, right behind them, and gets both of them as they uh, back their butts. I'm sorry, never mind. Phalanx finishes off, but uh, definitely back that uh, you know what up over <laughs> into Phalanx, unfortunately, and through the smoke. Um, yeah, this is uh, interesting now. SUNY 8-4, all momentum their way, holding it down really nice from them. I mean, this is... I don't know. I, have we just been underrating them all season long? Probably a little Probably. bit. Maybe a bit too but much. I don't know. They had like a rough regular season. Like, I, I you couldn't expect the rest of the team behind Aware and Artinio to improve the way that they have. We saw already how hugely important Phalanx has been to the success. Blooper on this map, of course, and we see it coming through in this round. They're just finding the trades. They're playing as a group. They're moving around the map together. They're not disjointed like we saw in the regular season. Obviously, we knew what Aware could do. We knew what Artinio could do, but one or two players isn't enough anymore to make it far in this league. And, and the, the, this the rest the of the team's team, stepping up around them. And this is the only team we're having this discussion about because everybody else, you know, like how like nobody's surprised. Like nobody's saying, are we over praising, you know, Robert Morris or Baruch? Like no, nobody's no. having that conversation. It's like SUNY Binghamton is the only team that we're actually having this conversation about. So th this is just really curious to watch and see how they continue to perform so well. And prove us wrong. I don't know, maybe we'll just have to favor them in the next <laughs> series if they end up moving on, but here we go. Artini going to be the only player spilling out without too much smoke coverage of him to worry about, but a lot of defense that's going to fall on uh, it looks like Culliken. Does manage to trade, runs through the smoke, gets an escape, gets aware in the back as well, finds himself a oh third body. Can he get one more with the AK? No, he cannot, but he's already done the damage. Artini all by himself. Versus Richa and Schooled, and you got to be really careful as one of them has that CZ and long range from the USP side of things. But Bomb is in his hands. He can make the shot call of where he wants to go. Artini he does leave the site. He's going to have a problem in UCSD picking up guns. Richa hasn't all the timing. Though. No, Artinio wasn't ready for it. Neither player ready, and Richa going to go down as a result. Schooled's actually put himself in a good spot now. Artinio is not going to be ready for this. He hears the gun now, but he doesn't spot him. Schooled, holding it down. Uh, beautiful round right there, 5-9. Yeah, that definitely could have gotten worse until uh, <laughs> until Culkin decided to go off and take three bodies uh, with him. With a P250. With a P250 of all guns. That is value right there. Student life can be hard, but he's making the most of what he has. That's what you learn. You, you learn in college how to budget, right? You know how to be resourceful. I'm, I'm, I'm kidding. Like most kids don't learn how to budget in college. They're just like, yep, uh, CSGO, ramen, and uh, say, let's play some CSGO. Here we go. Reach him all by himself, having to defend A or sorry B side. Only gets one. Actually, gets two. Artini takes a two kill. Royal finishes it off Sherbert, and now it is a quick plant, and I think that's all they're gonna get right here on the SUNY Binghamton side before we go to halftime, but we'll see here. Can Artini continue to pull off some of the magic that we've seen uh, this series? In a good spot to start. Blooper finds one to start things off, but he's not going to be able to complete it. He's going to get traded out, but Artini has put himself in such a good spot. He can cause some trouble. He's got a Molotov. Let's go the Molotov. Oh, he Royal. probably didn't know that he picked it up or something. Great job by Royal, keeping that cover for his teammate as well. If uh, he managed to hit that shot, then uh, definitely no time to defuse. But there we go, 9-6 yeah. half. Uh, UC San Diego once again showing us a little bit of resilience right before halftime, keeping the score uh, close. I think exact that, same, actually. Yeah, same exact 9-6 uh, half. And so we'll They're see. just flipping sides as far as, yeah, like last time we saw. They had to go to the favored side as far as UCSD win, and now they're going to the less favored side. So is this going to be, is this it for UCSD? Just just like that? Could they be 2-0 out of playoffs by the underdogs? By the Cinderella story? Could be. I don't could, know. It could, could happen. Be. I'm just, I'm <laughs> I'm awestruck right now. I know Jack's money crew. I, I know they're, they're, they are the real deal. 
Like, they got the sauce or the, the juice or whatever the kids say these days. Like, they got it in them right now. And sometimes it's all just about getting good at the right time, you know, peaking at the right time as a group. And that's definitely what they're doing here. Tournament play in collegiate sports is, you know, it, it's home to teams being able to do this. You know, you don't really well, well, see well, these well, kind again, of... Yeah, what we're not talking about either yeah. is all these guys are students as well. This is probably one of the worst times of the year to be able to play. Be oh, the stress, playing, yeah. Be playing, uh, like heavy high pressured match csgo uh, related games i mean with spring break exam school finals coming up and as well not only a lot of teams are participating in csl but they're also participating in other leagues whether it's avgo esea they've got a yep. lot of matches that they've got to worry and take care of so they are actually probably getting their good time in csgo but they're not getting probably quality work or able to really focus down on everything and there goes blooper uh, gets blooped once again in the head right there, and it's going to be up to Phalanx to get the initial defense, but Royal right here, right outside of smoke, just waiting for somebody to peek their head on out. Can he find that person? And he might be able to get Sherbert. He hears another player moving through. He's going to chase him down. Will he get the kill? He does get it, and now he will get the last remaining one, and that's Artini going down. That's the opening San Diego needed right there. That's what you need to start off with. Nothing like a good old B-Rush to get things going, to get the blood flowing. I, I, I like that call. Just all out towards the B site. Nothing to lose at this point. They're just trying to grind this out. Send this to Inferno. Give them another another chance to take over. I mean, I think we, we saw last time they played Inferno. It might have been against UCSC. And yes. they were very, very good. Like, very, very solid. They did make very, very few mistakes on their CT side. And that's, you know, a big secret to having a very, very solid Inferno. That's why you expect them to pick it or at least leave it as the map that's left but at the same time we've seen what jack's money crew can do to a good team on that map so <laughs> was it, i mean yeah there's there's so many things that could happen i'm just excited as, to as, see you, as you said that i put the there. camera over to phalanx with the deagle and i'm like oh yeah here it comes <laughs> here, here it comes so we've seen their danger look at this push from schubert oh, oh no oh we haven't seen a lot of heavy uh, pushes on the CT side through Ivy like that one. That might actually be the first uh, one we've seen all match. And definitely paying the price for it. Aware, though, will he follow up? They might be able to get one. <laughs> They're so slow, nice and slow on the default. There we go. That kill over on B side gets them moving. Oh, I don't know if you saw school back out of there just for a second. But already down to two players on the CT side for SUNY Binghamton. Felix with that deagle. Still dangerous. Can he get somebody that crosses? Oh, not able to. Close with the crosshair, but not close enough. And that's going to be down to aware to see if he can pull off something. He's trying to position himself, but eating too many shots in the return. Down to 9 HP. Risha does finish off aware. And now we have ourselves a game. <laughs> we sure do. I mean, one round away now. And tying things up and their T side actually is looking solid. This is where we could see their their frag sharing abilities excel, their ability to trade into sites, get aggressive and catch you out. But they're also a team that plays very tactical counter strike sometimes. We can see mm -hmm. them change the pace on their opposition. Reach a hopping oh. across and he's actually taking some damage in exchange for that information. He's gonna high <laughs> it out of there. Oh go down quick, reach a <clears throat> Well, looks like we swapped sides somehow in the middle of the game and uh, San Diego playing uh, CT side on T side <laughs> right there, uh, defending their own spawn. And they now it's all down to it. blooper. Yeah, they're, they were gunning for him quick. I think that was a great reaction to back on out. We've seen that before uh, from UCSD as well, where they've fallen under that level of pressure. Uh, they do a great job of kind of recoiling and uh, getting themselves back into a good position to uh, take everybody out. So uh, you can see our tinny. T taking a few shots at his own team, <laughs> taking a few shots at his own teammates. So he doesn't usually play this well, but uh, if you're gonna play well, this is the perfect time to do it. Blooper though, by himself, obviously in a one v five. Doubt he's gonna be able to make it out of the round, but he might get himself a kill. He should probably take that. Um, there we go. He does get spotted. He does eventually end up getting hero, but Culkin finishes him off, and another. Nice, clean round from UC San Diego. But this should be the first round for uh, SUNY to get their uh, guns up, right? Yep. Yeah, this is where they'll be able to showcase their CT side. Aware gets onto that op, and where does where's he spawn at? He spawned looking towards the A site. We've seen him bring the op up or B sometimes, but I think they're going to have 
that second op actually positioned both towards the A site. Phalanx, literally the luckiest person alive. Could be. Sometimes better to be lucky than good, um, especially now. We do have a nice engage over here as Cole can reach and open up the A side over here. And let's see if they can get anybody else. Smokes out the blooper. Blooper barely survives that onslaught right there. Might eat himself up another nade and aware it down to 4 HP, creeping and sneaking around. Let's see if he's able to do anything else. Sherbert not able to pull it off. And really, he needs a lot of help right here. Blooper needs to rotate quickly before Aware gets picked off by himself. Doesn't matter. Aware, anyways, finding himself a kill from Schooled. And one player remaining. It's Culkin. Bomb is not planted, but it is down. Aware falls, but there we go. Blooper with the help. Nice job. It had a good start. They had two frags, and that is huge. Is that's huge for the entry? But they didn't have a right side bomb train smoke. Which I'm interested to know if maybe they just forgot to get thrown, maybe the miscommunication. They had Z smoked off, so they did predict the ops pretty well, but to not have that bomb train smoke and not be able to extend in towards the site, bought enough time for aware to make things so difficult for them, just being a thorn in their sides the whole round towards Sandwich there. And ultimately it's gonna pay off. Looper getting down ladder, finding the final kill, and now another buy from UCSD. This is an important round for both teams. Already Reacher going down on top of train. And, uh, yeah, this A-side take's not really working out for San Diego anymore. Even a scout getting involved on our titty side and out of pop dog. There goes Hero as well. Very clean cleanup from SUNY Binghamton right there. And we're back to an 11-9 lead for them. I mean, we're watching basically a carbon copy of last map happen once again. This is really yeah. wild. Now they're going to force it. And this is, like... They're, they're doing it again. They're doing it. As much as we say, like... As much as we're talking constantly about how this is like an upset or how Jax Money Cruz is the, the underdog, UCSD is not playing well enough they're, to they're be making some the winners questionable of this decisions. match. Yeah, yeah very them. questionable decisions. They're not quite playing characters to Counter-Strike that we've seen of them in the past. Like I said, they they just go for that, I guess, another all-out towards A, but they don't extend at all on it. They just keep waiting for the kills, and eventually you make yourself like pigs for slaughter out by that E-Box position. The Phalanx, he's just having a time right now. He's getting aggressive. He's looking for something. And this force by... This could spell disaster Whoa. if it doesn't work out. The boost towards... It was close. It was oh, close. I don't think Schubert even realizes. I oh, still don't no, think... No, not at all. He definitely just yeah. hit his shot and backed out of there wondering what the hell just he happened. He just thinks it went through smoke or something. Well, they at least smoked it off for now. They're going to reverse boost uh, Sherbert up here on the boxes outside of Ivy. Meanwhile, we do have Phalanx sitting on here, a train trying to spot anybody down. We have a bunch of T's in the back of sight right now, still deciding where they want to go with it. And they have two players located over towards B, getting positionally maybe ready to take and be engaged, but really no rush. 48 seconds on the map. They probably will try to make a move around 40 to 30, somewhere around there, as they do need that time to be able to, be able to actually get on site and execute. You don't want to waste too much time. See what happens here. They've sold a bit of a fake towards the B side. It's drawn a third counter terrorist in. Phalanx now quick on the rotate back towards the A side. And in the meantime, Schubert going down on the box. That was the lit player, and that gives them full extension now up past hell. And aware overstays his welcome. Culligan finding another big kill, but Artinio doing work in the meantime. A third frag from him. Trying to stop any resistance at this point in school gonna go down behind ebox jack's money crew winning another important round as we see ucsd had forced up into it now they'll have to eco jack's money crew potentially up on a 13 rounds is this a 2-0 for sunny binghamton is this really what's happening right now look i mean maybe san diego's sitting there saying look if we don't make the finals we're only about 30 minutes away we could just still, <laughs> we, we can still make the finals either way. Why not be nice and let SUNY Binghamton make the finals? They got a longer trip to make, uh, but who who knows? I mean, may, maybe they got a really kind hearts. Maybe the kind hearts isn't the exact right time to have them right now. But uh, yeah, this is just very. I don't know how to say. It. Like I don't know the proper phrasing for this, but it's just this is just not expected. Yeah, unexpected. Unexpected. Unlucky. Perfect. Unfortunate. A lot of onwards there. I can't, I can't English today. I'm, 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 having a, I'm having a hard time Englishing, but uh, Cole can having a hard time trying to find an opening over towards Ivy as uh, Sherbert once again sitting there and waiting for them. Reach it in the back. Bomb is positioned uh, kind of towards our, towards Pop Dog, but uh, could be maybe going either towards A or B. The option play is there available for them. 
blooper and as well uh, Artini in defensive position. Oh, Artini spots a player over towards B side. Will get that kill confirmed. And now they've got to make some hard decisions right here. What do they want to do with the bomb and where do they want to take it? Heroes got it. They only have pistols right now. And so, oh, could have reached a line that one up almost any better, but doesn't get the kill. Aware drops in. Now the final two players try to come out and uh, Hero ends up somehow killing himself right there. Wow. Nice shot, he says. Nice shot. So, 13-9. This is uh, getting... We're inching closer. Inching closer to... Uh, and Artenio is building up a bit of a bank here, too, with Blooper as well. They're able to get at least another buy out of this now. If UCSD is able to take the round. Like, the further this, this deficit becomes, the harder it's going to be, obviously. CSGO, a game of momentum. But... Momentum is in the favor of the underdogs at this point. Looking to 2-0 UCSD. Yeah, okay, I was just checking that. The last map was actually the first map that UCSD's lost in 2018. In CSL, at least. Mm -hmm. no, that's impressive. Very quiet setup right now, default. Everybody's being very cautious on how they want to engage. Time dwindling down, 50 seconds left. Nobody overextending, both teams aware of the pressure in this round. Clearly you can see nobody really going for anything this is the first too time crazy. Looks, yeah, this is the first time it looks like San Diego's actually gonna try to clean execute over towards B side. That's not a eco rush round for them so let's see how well blooper and uh, artini end up holding up artini's got great vision great positioning as well for anybody that comes on out almost i want to say guaranteed to get a kill right here uh, if he spots somebody there we go grabs one for himself blooper on the lower side takes both and finds himself a hero as well and now artini holding up the rest of the push out meanwhile scold in between the smokes gets dropped and now it's all down to reach it can he save this round in any way, shape, or form? And no, he's not going to be able to. Aware, still solid. But once again, another great team performance coming out of Jack's Money Career. Look at that. 20, 18, 18, 16 out of the top four right there. Not anybody that's, you know, too far ahead of each other. Playing really well, holding down sides everywhere and rotating well for each other. I mean, this is this has been a phenomenal team performance uh, so far this whole series from SUNY Binghamton. Oh, no. They're going to go for... A buy again they're not going to respect the tie at this point and try to save and get a decent buy into the next round they're just going to buy with what they have now and respectively of course they're able to get four ak's here but with lack of utility they might catch them off guard right like uh, they yeah would expect for them to save right now they're trying to work a pick aware is ready for culican so nobody can really extend out of ladder right now a nice setup coming out from jack's money crew a good counter call here the flash is out culican goes down to aware reach able to trade out phalanx damage has been done but artinio finding one more with the op Hero coming out of Ivy's actually going to take one. Artenio holding with the op. He goes wide and Hero ready on the swing. Taking down one more by himself as Blooper goes down. UCSD going to live to see another round. And stave off Jack's money crew here on train. They do need four more rounds just to tie things up. Mm -hmm. Their economic situation is not good. They can't afford really to lose any more rounds, even though there is a one round kind of grace round that they could give up potentially. But we see their their economy is not good. And as I had mentioned before, that bank being built up on Jack's money crew allows them to get a really good buy into this round. So oh, a lot riding on this. School getting pushed out, almost had a shot he wanted right there over towards A side, but gets mollied out of the position. Slow play. I like this from UC San Diego. Take all the time outside of obviously running out of time that you need uh, to be able to get yourself in position and ready. Colican on the outside of A has a nade ready. Will hold off for the time being. He might find himself Sherbert here is sitting over in Ivy. Meanwhile, a bit of a setup over to Pop Dog. We have the bomb back over towards the side as well. And this will this is just building kind of some of the tenses uh, from City Binghamton. Uh, they're definitely not able to kind of set up really in a chill way. Culican though creeping up really aggressively. Um, wow. He'll back out though too as well. We do have Reacher though. He's now on the site. Smoke has cleared out some of the vision. 
for some of these players to be able to spot them. Or block it, sorry. Pro Hill finally in Phalanx. Oh my goodness. Phalanx with two huge kills. Schubert as well. Richa finally going to make his presence known. But aware, not going to be able to hit the flick. Hits the follow up shot. Schooled once again by himself with the op. Goes down to aware. And just one round away from punching their tickets to Huntington Beach. It's going to be Sonny Binghamton. I am. I don't. I. I don't know. I can't really talk about Counter Strike anymore today after this. I don't think. This is rough. Well, here we go. Could be potentially match point right now. Sunny being with We'll take out Hero in drop already. Losing one. I don't, that almost looked like. UCSD was almost on tilt right there with how aggressive you make it a move on that spot. Um, the rest of the players are set up towards default, trying to find a you know a decision opening. I where, where do you go right now? Where have they not tried to expose as well as they might have could have right now? I'm I'm interested to like I don't know why they keep going towards that outside position. They've had like very moderate success, but by the time Artenio or Aware is rotated into bomb train, they haven't had any success past that point. Where they did have success was on the B side on pistol when they went fast, and they haven't tried that in this half, really. They did go for a late B execute. It could have went better, obviously. Blooper had a big round. Schubert having a big round of his own now, and just two frags remain for Jack's money crew to take this one. An upset 2-0 on the horizon. Royal and Richa need to have some heroics now. Royal finding the first dig, but he's taken so much damage in that gunfight. Now Richa with the bomb up towards the B site. Oh, this can't. There's no way they can at this point. Oh, had the opportunity. Royal has been dangerous with that deagle all day long, but not able to connect. It's all down to Richa, and there we go. Close it out. Zip it up. Sudi! We got New York heading over to LA. We got an East Coast takeover starting. Yeah, this is this is where you slow clap for